everyone. Welcome, Toastmasters fellow distinguished guests. Tonight, I want to talk about, well, the title of my speech is focusing on the present moment. And I'm, heard, I'm sure all of you guys have heard the term chugging along. It's about repetition. It's about, it's almost like a mindlessness. It's practice makes perfect. So your, your mind's not necessarily engaged. And I kind of want to, tonight, I want to remind you about that. Because I think that it's, this speech is almost for myself, like I'm talking, I need to eat my own words almost, because I tend to forget everyone has these big goals, we're going to school, you know, whether it's work, studying, going to class, you're, if you're in a relationship, you tend to get stuck, like in these ruts, and you, you forget about being focused in the present moment and enjoying the experience. And I think all of you know this, you just maybe need a little bit of a reminder because we all get stuck, we always, we always get, um, you know, things happen, life happens, we have stresses, we have family issues, that's life. But concentrating on the present moment, I think, is what makes the end goal or whatever achievements or whatever you want to pursue in life that much better. At the end of the day, when you're old and you, you have grandchildren and you want to, you, you have stories to tell, it's the struggles that you tell. It's not, yes, I eventually became a doctor, but like the struggles that made you there. And so that's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. It's about the process of being there and really engaging in the present moment. And I think this really, I watched a, a movie. It's called About Time. I don't know if any of you guys saw that movie, but it's a British movie. It's with Rachel McAdams and a new guy, but he's the guy who played in Harry Potter. He was one of the Weasley brothers with the red hair. I don't know if you guys know that one, but it's a British film. Basically, it's kind of similar to the Time Traveler's Rice, and where this man, he can travel back in time, but only to his past. So he can't travel to historic times. He can only go to where he's been in his own past. So throughout the movie, he, the, he's come to the conclusion that love is the most important thing to him. So therefore, he goes back in time multiple times to redo his past, to redo a certain situation, and basically to pursue the woman that he loves. And kind of the, the plot of the movie, the theme is that later on in the movie, he finds out that his dad is dying. And so when he realizes that, he goes back, he, he talks to his dad back in time, and his dad tells him something. He says, I want you to relive the days that you have already done. So, don't, so you'll travel back in time, but the second time you do it, you, redo, you relive what, have you, what you have already done. And the reason for this is to be present in the moment, to enjoy and embrace the stresses of everyday life. Because I t think we tend to forget that in the midst of it all, when we're going through the day, because in the movie, you know, he has, he has a wife, he has children, um, you know, he has a, a really stressful job. So initially, when you're going into this situation, you're not thinking about the present, you're thinking about the past, you're thinking about what I need to do in the future, you, you're planning. And as a planner myself, like even cell phones, it's all about you're planning your next meeting with your friend, you're not really focused on the present. And I think that's a whole other topic is technology. But he does, he does exactly what his dad says. So he'll relive, he'll live presently his life, and then he'll go back in time that night and relive and embrace and enjoy all the moments that seem stressful to him um, the prior day. And that's all because the present moment, it is what it is. Like the past was history, the present is a present, or the, what's the, I forgot the, the, the saying. But this also goes for me as well, and that, um, you know, whatever it is, and I'll give the story of like yoga, like you invest the time, you get yourself to yoga class, so you already partitioned that day, you're in the class, and I'm talking about Bikram yoga, because I, I work at a Bikram yoga studio, you know, you're in the posture, it's super hot, you have all these external forces that you're dealing with, and you're not really focusing on the posture, like what can you gain out of this, you already put the time in, it's an investment in yourself, so considering that, kind of stepping away, acknowledging the fact that it's crazy and it's all stressful, but just to enjoy the present moment so that that end goal is that much better is what kind of the movie that I saw kind of inspired the speech. And um, 
like I said, I'm a planner and I'm constantly thinking about the future and I honestly, I think this speech was for myself, was to inspire and make sure that I am enjoying the present moment. Because especially during these college years, the next 10 years or so, for a lot of people our age is when we change the most. It's the most dynamic. You know, you're going through careers, you're going through school, you're going through relationships. It's kind of determining the factor of what you want to do in life. So, enjoying the struggle, is what makes the journey all that is the journey. And those achievements that you eventually do achieve, you know, later on in life, they're that much sweeter when you can remember the struggle that you put in to get there. So don't just chug along, do as Buddha says, and don't dwell on the past, don't dream of the future, but concentrate your mind on the present. Thank you.